This is Specialist Dennis Neal. President Reagan's speech to the Bundestag this afternoon was interrupted numerous times for applause. The president told the German parliament that though many of the allied nations are experiencing economic difficulties, we must guarantee that our security does not suffer as a result. The more we close the conventional defense gap, he said, the less the risk of aggression or nuclear conflict. President Reagan went on to say that in recent months, both in Germany and in the U.S., there has been renewed public concern about the threat of nuclear war and the arms buildup. He said he understands their concern and shares it, but the question is how to proceed. Those who advocate that we unilaterally forego the modernization of our forces must prove that this will enhance our security and lead to moderation by the other side. In short, that it will advance rather than undermine the preservation of the peace. The weight of recent history does not support this notion. Those who demand that we renounce the use of a crucial element of our deterrence strategy must show how this would decrease the likelihood of war. It is only by comparison with a nuclear war that the suffering caused by conventional war seems a lesser evil. Our goal must be to deter war of any kind. And those who decry the failure of arms to control efforts to achieve substantial results must consider where the fault lies. I would remind them that it is the United States that has proposed to ban land-based intermediate-range nuclear missiles, the missiles most threatening to Europe. It is the United States that has proposed and will pursue deep cuts in strategic systems. It is the West that has long sought the detailed exchanges of information on forces and effective verification procedures. And it is dictatorships, not democracies, that need militarism to control their own people and impose their system on others. President Reagan told the Bundestag that in the strategic arms limitation talks to be held in Geneva later this month, he was calling for a reduction in conventional forces in Europe. He said the muscle of Soviet forces in Central Europe far exceeds legitimate defense needs. And history shows that these troops have built a legacy of intimidation and repression. He went on to say that the alliance will continue with plans to improve our own conventional forces in Europe, but again will work to ban land-based intermediate range nuclear missiles. President Reagan added the United States will move forward with plans to modernize our strategic nuclear forces, but has proposed the strategic arms limitation talks begin and will pursue them earnestly. With the president in Bonn, I'm Specialist Dennis Neal, AFN News.